In chapter nine, we're gonna talk about probability again. We're gonna get into um, a couple little definition things that we didn't go over when I first introduced probability back in chapter eight. So probability has to be a value between zero and one. So you can't have an answer of like 2.5. You also can't have a negative answer. And if we add up all the probabilities, the sum of that has to be one, or you could think about that being 100%. The chance of everything combined is 100. For example, if we say there's a 60% chance of rain today, that means there's a 40% chance of it not raining. 60 plus 40 is 100%. It's either gonna rain or it's not gonna rain. So those two things together have to be added to 100%. So we're gonna use those definitions um, down below to work these examples. So what I have here in the chart is um, a probability distribution where X is gonna be our number of siblings we might have and then the probability of that happening. So I would read across this one. So the probability of having three siblings is 0 0.075. The probability of having one sibling is 0.425 or you could say 42.5%. Um, they're just those percents are written as um, decimals. If I were to add all of this up together, that sum would be one. I'm going to take that idea to these probability distributions kind of down below. So in this first example, here's my x and that probability again. We don't know if is it valid. It's only valid if the sum is one. So I'm going to check that. The sum has to be one, and all those probabilities have to be numbers between zero and one. They're all between zero and one, but if I add those up, it gives me 1.05. That is too big, I cannot have that. They have to equal exactly one. So this is not a valid probability distribution. And that's because I've got a sum larger than one, it has to be exactly one. For part B down here, if I look at this one, I don't even have to add them up. Right away, I see a probability that doesn't work. Every probability has to be between zero and one. That's a negative number, it's less than zero. So this is not a valid distribution, and that's because we have a negative number. Asking kind of a similar question, but wording it slightly different. On example two here, I've given you the probabilities, except for we're missing one. So I didn't tell you what that one was. But we do know that the sum of all the probabilities has to add up to one. So I know that if I take all of these probabilities, and I'm just gonna call that missing one question mark, you could also call it X if you wanted to, they have to equal one. I'm gonna combine all my like terms, so I'm gonna add all those up. That gives me 0.78 plus that question mark has to equal one. Solving for the question mark, that missing number is 